It's day two, PDAC 2023, and I'm here with Zishin Syed from Avalon Advanced Materials. How are you doing today? Doing very well. Thanks for having me, Tracy. Congratulations on your recent appointment. Um, so delighted. So Avalon Advanced Materials, four main projects in the critical mineral sector. What's your favorite project right now? Yeah, well, first of all, thank you for your kind words. and really building upon a very strong foundation that Don Bubar uh, has established in this space. He saw this future a long time ago and uh, we've got a broad portfolio of assets as you mentioned but of course the talk of uh, the day, the talk of the town is lithium. Lithium uh, prices and uh, the, the nature of, uh, of the lithium business is really helping us kind of move into that space. So we're really excited about our Separation Rapids project and some of the exciting new uh, things we have underway. And of course, Avalon Advanced Materials originally was the create, found and, and built the Nechilacho project. And you're a shareholder in that deal, are you not? We are. We are indeed. Nechilacho, uh, again, Northwest Territory is a fantastic economic development opportunity for that part of uh, Canada. And uh, the rare earth supply chain has got a lot of nuances there, but uh, we have a very uh, good stake there and some good partners in Vital Metals. So for everyone at Investor Intel Land that's been following Avalon for very the last decade, this is a company that not only has outstanding projects, but you also have partnerships and deals along the way. Um, what other updates would you like to stress? I have several news releases here to source from, but what are you currently talking to everybody today on the floor at PDAC? Yeah, no, Tracy, one of the most exciting kind of uh, near-term developments for us, as I mentioned, is Separation Rapids. We've got quite an assertive plan in mind for the balance of the year. We've got a drilling program underway there. Back in 2018, when we did our drilling program, uh, we uncovered almost 10 million tons of lithium. Uh, for that price environment, that's quite a substantial amount, but uh, we've started that again. It's in process, and uh, we're quite optimistic on the results there. Uh, we should have an update uh, in the near term for our shareholders and for investors. Uh, back in September of 2022, we also formalized a very important step one of a strategic partnership with LG Energy Solutions from South Korea. Of course, they're quite heavily invested in Canada. They've got a mega project in mind, uh, their next star battery uh, production facility in uh, Windsor, Ontario. I was just with Minister Champagne this morning and he referenced that once again uh, in the government of Canada to give them kudos in recognizing the importance of establishing the downstream value added component. So Avalon's plans really are to help position the midstream component with our new partners. Uh, we've got some news coming soon and we're very hopeful to help support what Canada has done in that space. Zishan, I'm so, well, I'm genuinely excited for everyone at Avalon. You're really building a tremendous team. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, Tracy.